seeing Wendy Shepard tag me in this, I know exactly what she wants. Let's roast. So this is probably the only motherfucker out there that actually looks like a human fucking wrestling action figure. Can you say a little bit of juice? Motherfucker got a fucking triple Q tits going on there. And a goddamn tree trunk for a fucking bicep. This just all in all looks like a fucking wrestling action figure you'd buy at Walmart. Motherfucker looks like the Incredible Hulk if he didn't fucking shrink back to normal and just kept some of his muscle. <sighs> yeah, hope you guys like the roast. Be sure to like and hit that follow button. Zip peace. How you gonna ban me from TikToks? How you gonna ban me from TikToks? I'm above. Let's roast. Symbols of press of a button, motherfucker. Those goddamn tattoos. That goddamn voice. How you gonna ban me from TikToks? How you gonna ban me? I just like totally got fucked in the ass two days ago. Everybody tag teamed me while I was in prison. Even my own mom did. She said I'm more of a man than my son ever will be. Motherfucker's the goddamn machine gun Kelly of fucking wish. You order one thing and this is what you goddamn get. I paid two ninety nine plus tax for Machine Gun Kelly and they sent me this fucking jabroni. Motherfucker, go and fucking watch porn or something. And again, the goddamn website will see that you're watching. Probably fucking crash on your ass. Oh, we don't want fuckboy watching our porno. He tried to take all women. We don't even give him chicken ball rice. Eat a fucking dick. I can post whatever I want on TikTok. Can you shut the hell up? I'm fucking taking this one. To It's Your Boy Noah, who made that comment, let's roast. Before beginning, you're goddamn right you can post whatever you want. This is a platform available for every person out there to be creative in their own way. And you know what? I love you, brother. And I'm proud of you for standing up for yourself, telling that douchebag to fuck off. Now, to It's Your Boy Noah, now you fuck with the wrong one. You got nothing else better to do? in the fucking slander somebody else. Get your goddamn ugly fucking bitch ass off this platform. I bet you goddamn your fucking parents are cousins, aren't they? They're yet probably brother and sister by how fuck you are. And you don't have permission to make those fucking comments anymore. If I see it, you'll deal with me. Brother, you keep being you. And that goes to everybody. Don't let these pieces of shit out there ruin your day or having fun with this platform. Love you, brother. And you have a follow. Wanna know how to grow your own mushrooms? Wanna know what's in a can of Vienna sausages? Wanna know what's in the center of a golf ball? Wanna know what a she male looks like? Wanna know what hot dogs are made out of? Wanna know how to make TikToks is actually sensible? If I broke in your crib, what would you do? What would you Y'all know what time it is. Let's roast. Well, first thing I do is lead a trail of fucking donuts out the door. Get guaranteed to follow that. Second thing I would do is I would run down to my mom's house, grab one of her bras for your big-ass fucking tits just to help you out, you know, back problems. Third thing, I have a great selection of hats in my closet. I would give you something else other than a fucking turban or a pillowcase, I really can't tell at this point. Then i tell you to go back to fucking 21 Jump Street. I like the fact that you honestly think you could fit through my door, though. I forgot, all I gotta do is knock your ass over, play they see me rolling, roll you back down the fucking driveway. Too easy, man. Too easy. All in good fun. All in good fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this roast. If you did, smack the thumbs up. Z peace. If this is you, you better lower your motherfucking tone when you're talking to me. Let's try this again without getting it took down. And if you turn that some bitch sideways, and that's you, you got no room to be talking to nobody about size. Talking about a three inch dick and you got a cup tits. Come on. Your checking account available balance is twelve million six hundred. No, 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 no. Motherfucker, who gives a fuck what your checking account holds? Who gives a fuck what your saving account holds? Who gives a fuck how much money you have in general? We are not going to walk past this conversation, not talk about those quadruple fucking Z's you got going on. What are you using to hold them up? Fucking two ratchet straps? I can tell you right now, there's no fucking bra for those. Ooh. Two ratchet straps, two 100 gallon buckets. That's what you're using right now. I don't give a fuck. Those ain't nipples. Those are goddamn wine corks that you use to plug the fucking holes in the bottom of those buckets. There's no fucking way. How are you not in a wheelchair? Woman be walking around with more goddamn fucking knots in her back. A squad of a hundred fucking cadets could tie. I feel bad. Once again, I don't give a fuck what's in your bank account. You probably need that much to goddamn support those motherfuckers. Oh, jeez. Keep scrolling. Next video. Zip peace! Pink bird is called a cockatoo.
a cockatoo. Motherfucker probably knows a thing about a cockatoo. White boy be loved in jail with those big ass lips. But you see a fucking cockatoo too. <laughs> How long should a guy last in bed? Two hours. Have you gone? How, how fucking long? Motherfucker, we're not watching a fucking Star Wars movie. I'm not fucking sitting there watching Coronation Street with your fucking mother. Or football with your fucking brother. Motherfucker, if you could go for two fucking hours, I'm naming your fucking twat a fucking pack a punch. Two fucking hours. Everybody get the fuck out of the way. It's Betty the back a punch. They say if you fucker, it's like kicking a field goal. The football just keeps going and going and going and holy fuck. Two hours later, it's gone. Two fucking hours. It takes me fucking two hours to get out of the bed. To her next fucking boyfriend or current boyfriend. If you are not fucking circumcised you fucking will be because that motherfucker is gonna fall off everybody who doesn't know if you get in a car accident and then you press this button it will like undo the accident for the first time in any roast i actually don't know what to say i'm fucking dumbfounded did this brain dead woman just say if you press that button, it will undo the accident. So, if I'm dead, and my little spear hand presses that button, you mean to tell me I'm alive again driving back down Veterans Memorial? Uh, ma'am, this is not GTA. We don't get into an accident and die and fucking respawn. We don't spend $25 and then we're magically back alive. I've seen some dumb shit, and I mean dumb shit. But this has got to be the dumbest. So if you get in an accident, just press that button. You'll live. Oh my god. Let me show you what you're missing. Let's roast. I'll tell you what you're missing. A fucking beard. Nobody's interested in a little bit of fucking chin hair you got going there. I got more hair on my fucking chest and legs than you got on your face. I'm gonna fuck over here talking about a little bit of peach fuzz. Just enough to make a woman's thigh itchy. Women don't like men with beards. No, I just don't think women likes little boys with peach foes. Maybe in another six years, bud. Nice try. Yeah, peace. What'd you do if you had to fight me? Run around with that foreign love. Cocaine of fame. Oh, for fuck's sake. Let's roast. Motherfucker, what are you going to do when you break into my house? I can tell you right now, that little dirt stash you got going on won't be fucking lasting very long. Once again, we got another motherfucker on here with a fucking white tank top. Ain't a fucking muscle shirt. Where's the muscle? Once again, I got more muscle on the fucking penis. Bring it to my house, you'll see what fucking happened. This is only one thing I'm gonna fucking say. I'll fucking knock that lazy eye right back to fucking work. Zip peace! I've got something. See you still in now, smart guy. Are you all right? Are you breathing in too much of your own oxygen because of the COVID? Are the masks are a little too tight around your face? Do you honestly think that's going to help? Motherfucker, not only are they going to get away with the hitch, they're going to get away with the pin and your lock now. You just added to their collection. I don't know what's wrong with people nowadays. Oh my god. You punch me in the face for two million dollars, homeboy. I bet you won't. Yo, yeah, he's waking up. Yeah, he's there. Uh, what's up, man? Uh, first of all, uh, your wife's thong that was on your head's over there. Uh, the M&M's that was in your mouth, that fucking fake-ass shark that was on fucking Finding Nemo is over there, and not quite sure what the fuck you had around your fucking neck, but uh, it's probably your fucking tampon string, but Jesus, I don't know how the fuck you got that up there. But anyway, that's over there as well. Uh, I take fucking e-transfer or cash. What would you like? Boys are hating. Stop playing with my mansion. Man... Who's this octo-eyed motherfucker outside my house again? Oh, not you again. Didn't I kick you out of my house fucking two days ago? The fucking Skittles are still down on my floor! Man, we're gonna take care of this some bitch right now. Hey! Chain gang fucking chain! Get the fuck out of the front of my house! Fucking Skeets in Newfoundland. Yeah, that's right, fucking MC Hammer. Keep going. Jesus Christ. It's two times this week that fucker come on my property. I need not, he not, he not, not, said a guy
it to the stage. Thank you, Brianna Hickey, for the tag. Let's roast. What in the holy sweet flying fuck are you doing? Are you that desperate you gotta make love to a fucking orange on TikTok? What the fuck did that orange ever do to deserve that? Like, if that was supposed to be a thirst trap, my fucking cock just turned into a vagina. Just went up inside me. I have a uterus now. Motherfucker, I just started my period from that. Now I gotta go to Walmart and buy fucking tampons. Another goddamn expense. I have many scars on my body. That one's infused into my brain. Oof. I'm never fucking eating oranges again. Not even canned. Please don't do that with apples. I like apples. Someone tell me how this guy is a manager at oil change shop. Ooh. Let's roast. What the fuck are you doing? You're a fucking manager of what? An oil change shop. Motherfucker, do you even know what an oil change is? Do you know how to check to see what oil goes into a specific type of vehicle? Do you even know where a fucking filter is located on a vehicle? Do you know what a drain plug is? And no, it's not your penis having to fucking piss. Ugh. I wouldn't trust this motherfucker to hold me PS4 controller. I'm sorry. But even if an individual does not know how to actually change a tire over, I think everybody in God's green earth knows which fucking way a fucking wheel is at least supposed to go on. Oh, being a mechanic apprentice? That was the cringiest shit I ever watched in my fucking life. Ugh. I think you need a new career path, bud. I don't think that one's gonna work out. Zip peace! I can't even get a text back. Like Last video was blowing up and got took down, so we're gonna fucking do this again. Not getting away that easy. Let's roast. But here's the cleaner version. I'll tell you why you don't get the text back. Because you go into this woman's profile. It took the time to do so. Basically just to shame this person by saying you don't get a text back. How does this bigger woman do, right? You don't get a text back because you're a poor excuse of a human. There's no nice way to put it. If I wanted to fuck a skeleton, I go to Walmart during Halloween and buy one. Like I said in the last video I made like this one. Time for people like you to show other people some respect. In the video I got took down, I roasted the hell out of this woman. I mean roasted the hell out of her. But you know what, I'm not even going to do that this time. Because honestly, you're not fucking worth it. Only thing I'm going to say is that I'm glad to see that the woman with that man is happy. Beauty's not always on the outside. Everyone is beautiful in their own way. Yep, peace. Oh, man. Okay, so this is the best shit I've ever seen in my whole fucking life. Motherfucker casually rollerblading down the fucking street and gets struck by a door. The fact that he stuck that in them way back right then and there is impressive. Then to make the best of it, he goes into a fucking brick wall. And sits down, and acts like nothing fucking happened. Meanwhile, Mrs. next to him is looking like she's watching fucking Sausage Party for the first time. And he's just sitting there like it never happened. He's like, whoa, that was a strong door, holy shit. Next, he's gonna ask Mrs. if she wants to go get a fucking coffee. You better grab shoes, though, because next might be a transport truck. Hitting you instead of you hitting the car. This is absolutely brilliant. He hit that fucking car door just like Chris Brown hit fucking Rihanna. He hit that car door just like Ray J hit Kim Kardashian first. Mrs. looked more confused than Taylor Swift when Kanye West come up on stage. They see me rolling. They hate him. So I'm just going to slam a door in his face. Zip peace. For you, buddy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Knuckle sandwich on the house. <sighs> Knuckle sandwich. Motherfucker, you're a knucklehead. Motherfucker over here trying to look like a thug. With that goddamn handkerchief on your head that you but I wish. Motherfucker, I'd be more intimidated by a goddamn bunch of old people and old folks home. If you're gonna give me a knuckle sandwich, best make sure it does the job. Because if not, you're gonna see some goddamn coffee cream going flying out of his crocs across the room. Motherfucker over here trying to look like a thug. Motherfucker over here was probably in jail and fucking he escaped by goddamn just walking right through the bars. Motherfucker, you do more goddamn damage to me by throwing an empty pack of smokes at my head. I appreciate you trying to rock a muscle shirt, though. Well, in your case, a fucking tank top. This is how you rock a muscle shirt. Like that. At least have a little bit of muscle. Carlos, get the fuck out of the way, boy. Batman St. Robin this time. I'm shaking out of my fucking shoes. No, it's not a Power Ranger. I'm pretty sure it's Robin. Yeah, I know, he's a bit milky, isn't he? I do appreciate the laugh, though. <laughs> Thanks. Zip peace. Just got out of the barber shop. You know what I'm saying? Got my dreads. Oh, for Christ's fucking sake. Let's roast. Dreads. That's dreads. Motherfucker, it looks like you dip your head in a fucking deep fryer and just start twirling it. Greasier than a fucking cunt dog. Seen fucking prettier hairless fucking cats.
What's with the teeth? What 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 are you trying to pull now? Fucking flavor, flave. Is that what you're trying to be right now? All the goddamn swag you got going on right now, motherfuckers. The fucking little swag and the fucking dreads. Dreads. Motherfucker over here to make Rosie O'Donnell cry. Like what? Don't get me started on the dog collar and the chain you bought at Toys R Us. That's when I thought this guy couldn't get any fucking worse. He presents this fucking Flavor Flav over here changed his fucking skin color like Michael Jackson. Only difference is Flavor Flav actually had money. Zip peace. What would you do if I hopped in your truck and took off? Well, first of all, I don't have a truck. But let's say, let's say you said car. If those teeth do not puncture a tire in the process, and that bandana didn't get stuck in the door, and you by some miracle have my keys, because I guarantee you you're not fucking smart enough to hotwire, and all the Dollarama jewelry that you have on didn't weigh you down from getting there faster than me, this is what would happen. Wake up, homeboy. Wake up, homeboy. Wake up, there he is. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. It ain't my fault that you're slower than me. Your wife's thong on your head. Those fake ass chains, those shark teeth, slowed you down. Guess what? Now you're leading your own doo doo on the ground. Peace. Decided to do the little string thing, all the guys are doing. Thank you, Smart Poker, for the tag. Let's try to make this a little bit clean so it don't get took down. You know what time it is. Well, it's roast. Motherfucker looks like the blue meanie in WWE. Motherfucker looks like Peter Griffin after the gay gene. Motherfucker looks like if Joker and Rosie O'Donnell had a kid. Oh, and nice bungee cord. Now do us a favor. Boing yourself somewhere else. Dippy. <laughs> you know, I was trying to be nice. I think that was the most gentle roast I ever did. But three out of ten? So don't be offended by anything I say. Because now I'm going to roast you. Let's roast. Three out of ten. Motherfucker, we're not talking about what people rate you. The only thing we're talking about right now is how far is that thong wedged up your ass. Wanna talk not very creative? Motherfucker, everything you got going on right now is creative. Daisy Duke shorts. Lindsay Lohan's fucking thong. Joker hair. And the only reason your voice sounds so feminine is because of how fucking far that thong and them shorts are wedged up your ass. You wanna talk not very creative. You want to talk nothing you haven't heard before. Motherfucker, if we're being honest, there's nothing I can say you haven't heard before. And probably nothing I can say that's probably not true. Motherfucker over here looks like he's going to a comic book convention with fucking Adam Lambert. I might have said everything you've heard before. You're nothing like I've ever seen before. And after seeing that, I'll never see again. But you know what they say. Who needs a six pack when you carry the keg? Do you know that straight men can have sex with men and not be gay? They can't. You sound like you've done this before. I'm sorry, but the minute your fucking mouth touches another man's fucking... <whistles> you're gay. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. If not gay, at least fucking bisexual. There is no fucking way you're straight if your lips suction cups on to a man's fucking junk. Motherfucker's done this before and is probably just trying to defend himself. If you're gay, more fucking power to you. But don't fucking say... You're straight. If your fucking mouth suction cups onto a goddamn man's junk, because you're fucking not. <laughs> On this episode of Factor Cap, we're going to test the TikTok trend here to see if it's real or bullshit. My guess, bullshit. People who were born in 2000 are now 40. Let that sink in. <laughs> Cocaine is a powerful drug. You know, last time I checked, I don't think I'm 44 years old. At least the wrinkles on my ball sack don't tell me I am. And how saggy it is. I, I, I could be mistaken. I could have cataracts, but I don't think I'm 44. You know, with this COVID on the go and everything, I think people's breathing in too much of their own oxygen and hallucinating a little, I think. Unless I'm hallucinating. Am I Am I 44? I thought I was 25. Am I 44? Well, I guess I'm going to Toyota getting my 2041 Corolla. You might have a deal for 90 days, no payments, or 0% interest. And I thought they were coming in with a vaccine for COVID 20 years ago. The world's still fucked. What you had said? What you had said? You heard the motherfucking man. What did you say? What? What? 
Oh, he, he said, take the one dollar bills and shove them up your ass. I'll take you from your man. Yeah. yeah. Here's a challenge to Brooke Art 74, Queen of Rose. Let's see who's better, the king or the queen. You do at mine, I'll do at yours. And let's see who can roast this some bitch better. Challenge. Let's roast. Motherfucker over here thinks he can take any woman. Motherfucker, only thing you're going to take now is that and the fucking nuts. Motherfucker, if you got herpes. Herpes would think you're fucking too disgusting to fucking stay with you. Only thing you're going to take now is that big BBC in fucking prison. All the boys in jail like them fucking lips wrapped around them. Soul on a rope. Motherfucker, you need soul on a fucking bungee cord. If not, <laughs> not even that, but I can tell you right now the fucking women be fucking taking you with a strap on, taking you their fucking bitch. If that wasn't good enough, motherfucker, you're going to be playing it on a fucking fire hydrant. Next tattoo should be a big X right there. X marks spot, motherfucker. You couldn't take fucking candy from a baby. The fuck are you going to take some women? Motherfucker needs a reality check. Come to fucking Newfoundland. We'll show you how to fuck it's done. You're two with Daniel Gracie. Oh! oh! Spinning back it's it is all! And God damn. Motherfucker got knocked out that hard. He tried to take his blanket and fucking pull it up over and into bed. Motherfucker went to sleep that fast he tried to fucking spoon his girlfriend. I don't know what the fuck was more impressive about that knockout. That quick buddy turned and elbowed the motherfucker? Or how quick the motherfucker went to sleep? Well, he needs to call 9-1 holy shit on that motherfucker. Motherfucker over here doing a motherfucking backstroke. Motherfucker's out for the night. Like, out for the night. You see how he turned over and just fucking went to sleep real quick? Man, god damn, that was dirty. At least when he turned over, he crossed his fucking legs so he didn't piss his shorts. I'll give him that one. Man, somebody needs to get a goddamn corner on the fucking phone. This motherfucker dead. You gonna bow down when you see me. Yo! Yo, where's the dumbass? Wake up! Ah, hey, there he is! What's up, man? You had one hell of a fall just now. You fell that hard, some of your tattoos just rubbed off on me fucking shoulder. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see shit. I don't know what happened. You, uh, you fell, boy. You fell hard. I felt, I felt you fall. I felt you fall. My hand's a little sore, but that's all good. What's up, man? Yeah, I'll give you a hand up here. Air. There, there you go. You're back. Are you good? Are you good? Let's not talk shit no more. Let's be good. All right? Let's not talk shit no more. Y you can't stand up properly without falling, bud. Let's let's be sensible here. All right? Let's go. I'll take it to... I'll take... I'll, come on, we goes. Turned around and declared that April 24th is... Thank you, Lady G, for the tag. Let's roast. So this is what 2021 has come to, right? This is where we're at. I swear to God, COVID-19 is turning people into fucking pricks. This is the most fucked conversation I think I'm ever going to have. So you mean to tell me that fucking people are going to take out fucking characters on cartoons, change names of characters because it's offensive. That is offensive. Characters myself and many other people grew up with. But they're going to name April 24th National Rape Day. To the fucking dickhead that come up with this idea. Did you do a fucking lawn with the mayor of Ontario? Because you are fucking sick in the fucking head. And I hope the fuck you get what's coming to you. We got another fucking Charles Manson out there. Share this video. Spread it around. And let's do something about this. Zip peace. They're claiming that I'm only posting stuff like that on TikTok for views. Lisa, my lovely. Seeing who you are. Seeing I'm in the mood. I encourage everybody to watch the full video because it's funny. I'm going to do something for you, my dear. Let's roast. So, this guy claims we're only making TikToks now for views. Oh, I thought I was on here making content for myself. You know, lie down in the bed in the nighttime and fucking watch myself and have a laugh. Like, what? At that point, I'll stand up in the goddamn bathroom mirror if I want to laugh at myself. I can tell jokes. I'm funny that way. And I'm fucking funny looking. I'll have a great laugh. You fucking retarded. What the fuck else are we doing TikTok? Yeah, we want people to see our content. And yeah, to the missus that seen Jesus in her living room? The lines must have been great in fucking Las Vegas that night, wouldn't it? It's called flying higher than Bob Marley himself. Anyways, to the one that posted a comment. Fuck it, retarded, bye. Love you, Lisa. Zip peace! First hate comment. Doesn't bother me. I'm okay with the way I look. My love, I'm gonna fucking take this one. Because seeing as I'm the fucking king of roasts on TikTok, I'm gonna fucking roast this some bitch. But this roast, I mean, and it's not just for entertainment. First of all, I'd like to start out by saying, ma'am, you're a beautiful girl the way you fucking are. 
and I'm fucking admire you for not allowing that piece of fucking shit douchebag that the only fucking woman he could probably get is his own goddamn mother or his fucking grandmother bring you down and for that I fucking admire you. Because I read the comment and I seen that he commented that you looked like a piece of chewed up fucking bubblegum. 400 pound one at that. It's not your fault or my fault that that motherfucker probably had to look that insult up on Google. And it fucking pisses me off how people take the time out of their day to comment on someone's video to shame them. Me personally, I'd rather a fucking girl that has some curves. If I wanted to fuck a skeleton, I'd go to Walmart during Halloween and fucking buy one. You fucking keep being you. Zip peace. You're fat. No more McDonald's. Was in bed. Trying to make my eyes tired, scrolling through TikTok. The numbers tagged in this. Let's roast. Seen this guy around many times. White smile, is it? Must be pretty proud of yourself. Only reason you're goddamn famous is standing in the dark showing your teeth. Big accomplishment. I want to talk about if you're fat, no more McDonald's. I like cheeseburgers. What the fuck are you going to do about it? Ain't nobody else's fault that you look like a fucking thumb. Congratulations, you have weak teeth. It's the only fucking talent you have. Only talented because of a big smile. Only famous because of a big smile. Congratulations, I guess, on not being talented. But I do like your voice. How many times you get kicked in the nuts to sound like that? To all the bigger women out there? Keep being you. To this fucking douchebag? Crawl back in your little dark hole and smile. So you take her back to your room and hit her with that bomb. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best thing I've seen all night. Motherfucker brings a new term to, oh yeah, fuck the shit out of me. <laughs> Only thing you're gonna be doing when you goes back to any fucking room is changing your goddamn underwear after shitting your pants just now. Fucker, you look down by your feet, there's a goddamn turd just sitting there. If there's any woman going back to your fucking room, they sure as hell not now. Motherfucker fired herself fucking right, she fucking, you, I could taste it through the phone. Motherfucker got the same hairstyle as me, but after that goddamn shit, it went from blonde to the same color as me. Motherfucker shit so hard, fucking Stevie Wonder's also just come back. He ain't wondering what the fuck he just heard. He knows exactly what he just seen. Best shit I ever seen in my fucking life. No pun intended. <laughs> Let's roast. This is why you don't get hammered and have a barbecue. Prime example. Wasn't bad enough that you slipped off the thing and fell. What was your mindset on that? If I'm going down, the fucking grill is going with me. All the goddamn cheeseburgers. What a fucking waste. You're supposed to put the burgers on the grill. Not the fucking grill on the burgers. I thought that was barbecuing 101. Oh, well. E for effort. Zip. What's your biggest turnoff? My biggest turnoff is facial hair. Well, praise be to fucking Jesus tonight. I dodged a fucking bullet on that one. As a matter of fact, I dodged a fucking missile. I look pussy as well as the next man, but not that fucking kind. Someone get that man a fucking litter box because he's gotta go. At the end of this video, I'm gonna have one hell of a fucking beard. My beard's gonna be that fucking long. Everybody's gonna be like, holy fuck, Dumbledore's resurrected. My beard is gonna be that long that people are gonna think that Jesus Christ is back. My beard's gonna be that long that fucking Donald Trump himself is gonna think I'm wearing a fucking toupee on my face. My beard's gonna be that long that the fucking Hell's Angels are gonna come to me and be like, You wanna join? My beard's gonna be that long fucking Jay Leno it can hide his chin. After this video, I'm finding myself a woman with a bigger beard than me. Just to ensure my safety in this life. If I seen this motherfucker coming at me, I wouldn't be dead inside, I'd be fucking dead outside. Zip peace! <sighs> Seeing I was tagged to do this. Uh, let's roast. Oh, so we got a bunch of fucking birds feeding each other, do we? Holly, want a fucking cracker? Or a glass of fucking milk? What the fuck? This is up there some of the dirtiest things I've ever fucking seen. Nothing else better to fucking do than to goddamn fucking share milk. Why don't you just fucking go now and goddamn fucking put your head under a fucking cow's udder? Same fucking thing. Feel like these guys gets together and has a fucking orgy together. And probably goddamn transfers their fucking cum to each other. Ugh. Bunch of dirty motherfuckers. Fim! Why should I leave, man? <laughs> oh! Why should you leave? Because you're about to break your fucking neck, man. 
Motherfucker slid into the DMs and got blocked real quick. He folded himself up and put himself away. That motherfucker took the trash at himself. That motherfucker believed he can fly and fucking failed. Now he's having a fucking nap. Hopefully when he wakes up, you might sober up a little and not try that shit no more. Fucking dumbass. Out to the man who died in this pursuit. Uh, they were unavailable for comment. What? No shit. Are you all right? What? Uh, I'm sure the man that's comfortably in his grave is not going to come back to fucking talk to you. Pretend this microphone. Excuse me, sir. I know you're six feet down there, but I got some questions. Like, what? I'm done. I'm fucking done with society. COVID got people absolutely rolled right off. People are inhaling way too much of their own oxygen, and they're fucked. You don't need to talk to this news reporter. She's... Rest in peace. What would you do if I broke in your house? Yo, homeboy. I like the talker. Wake up. There he is. What's up, man? Uh, you took a file just now. Hands a little sword. All good. Uh, not quite sure why you're in my house. Uh, not quite sure at all. But I, while you're visiting right now, having a nap on my fucking floor, figured I'd help you a little bit. Uh, your daughter's ski mask that you're wearing is over there on the table, okay? The Skittles that was in your mouth is over there on the floor, all right? And uh, your white stocking that was on your head is over there, okay? So let me help you out. Come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. Let me help you out. There you go. You good? Okay. Perfect. Now, uh, do me a real good favor. Seeing you're in my house, uh, can you get the fuck out? Thank you. When you're addicted to sex and the only woman you live with is your mom. And can't afford any sex toys. So you live out all your fantasies with a fucking chicken. Would this be considered under fucking bestiality? Like, I guess. Motherfucker needs a do not disturb sign on that door. Motherfucker's about to buck the fucking chicken. <laughs> Okay, hear me the fuck out. I'm both disturbed and happy I seen this. Hear me the fuck out and let me tell you why. Number one, reason for being disturbed. Number one, that's the fucking ugliest joker I've ever seen. Number two, it looks like a blonde midget done the makeup. And number three, Humpty Dumpty had a very big fall. Now, reason for being happy that I seen this? One of my all-time favorite games in the fucking world was Flappy Bird. And I'm happy as fuck they brought the damn thing back. This bitch looks like if fucking Angry Birds and Flappy Bird had a youngster. But yeah, this bitch looks like if fucking Oscar, the Grouch, Big Bird, and fucking Elmo had a fucking three-way and this is what they produced. I know this video is probably going to get taken down, but I don't give a fuck. Hope you liked it. Keep scrolling. Next video. See Peace! I mean, I've got the muscles. The ladies love me. I got a big willy. Just the fact you said willy tells me you're the complete opposite. More fucking muscle on my willy. Motherfucker looks like he ordered his goddamn glasses on fucking Amazon. $2.99, $22.99 shipping. Motherfucker looks like he was in the library when he was a kid fucking playing RuneScape. Motherfucker looks like 25 years old had to give his fucking girlfriend to wash his own ass. Look at me talking as if he has one. Surprised the fucking mother of fucking letting do this video. Might put you in a corner, smack your ass with a belt. The only fucking action you'd get. Our fucker over here acting like a babe magnet. The only fucking magnet he's got is probably in his fucking pocket protector. Haven't done this in a while, so let's see how it goes. Three, two, one. Thank you, Smart Poker, for the tag. Yes, I know what to do. Let's roast. The fucker over here is probably the only guy I've ever seen be able to fucking take three wieners to one time. Motherfucker can take probably a 12-inch BBC and not even fucking gag on some bitch. Motherfucker over here can take a full fucking 12-inch BBC down a goddamn throat and still swallow to come at the same time. Boys would love you in prison. You know, take all that. Long, pretty hair like myself. Easy to pull on. Yeah, they'd have fun with you. Just don't drop the salt. You'll be swallowing it somewhere else. This just in. Man touches another man's dangly thing in the back of his throat. But on a fucking serious note, I know who this guy is. I have seen his videos. He's one of the most talented some bitches I've ever seen on fucking TikTok. I love his chugging videos. So, keep it up.
because you're fucking incredible. Zip peace. This is what it sounded like with this. <laughs> I promise you, it will. Well, look at the 14 year old trying to be the king of the jungle. Only fucking jungle right now is that bit a little bit of fucking peach fuzz on top of your fucking lip. What are you over here going? <laughs> Sound like he's fucking hocking up a loogie. Say he probably hocks one up to fucking spit on his girl's fucking twat, but the boy probably don't even know what a fucking twat is yet. Some fucking man with that bit of peach fuzz, aren't ya? Boy over here blowing in paper towel rolls. Getting some practice for that big D. Better watch it though, because a bit of fucking semen might rub that goddamn fucking little peach fuzz off your fucking lip. Big shout out to Tia Smith, 1995. For the roast request, she was number one. There is now four left. Head over. Hit that follow button on her page. Who will be my next roast? Zip peace. I've actually tried inserting a tampon into myself so I can better relate to what women go through. Why? I have so many questions. But first, what possessed you to fucking do that? A vagina is self-lubricating. An asshole is not. I say pulling it out was the worst. That some bitch probably lit on fire without that friction. What? Why? Are you all right? Do I need to get the fucking Waterford on the phone? Like, you probably got hemorrhoidal discomfort now. You can't ease that shit out of you. Pulling that out was probably like fucking hauling a fucking pull cord to a lawnmower. With a sad and disturbing misfire. There's no benefit in what you're trying to pull with your asshole right now. You don't need to stick that little plastic penis up you just to see what women go through. Two completely different things. I think we need to get a doctor on the phone. This man got a hamster hanging out of his ass. I don't know what the best part of this video is. In fact, he just deep-throated a beer? Or her looking surprised like she hasn't deep-throated before? Please. We all know that you've had something way deeper than your fucking throat. Don't act like I'm average. You want me home. Oh my god, not you with the fucking orange again. Motherfucker did this definitely because of my last roast. But guess what? Let's roast. Ugh. So, let me get this straight. It wasn't bad enough you had to eat the fucker out. Now you gotta finger it. What are you getting out of it? I'm gonna lick your fingers now, too. Oh god. Still like apples. Don't fucking do it. You gotta squeeze it to make juice come out. Motherfucker, I'm willing to bet. Fingers is not that good to make someone juice like that. I can almost put my life on the line. Ooh. Everybody stay tuned for the next fucking video. Motherfucker gonna be jerking off a cucumber. God damn. Who would hang up by fucking tampons yesterday? Cause once again, my cock just turned into a fucking vagina. Once again, I have a uterus and just started my period from watching that. Ugh. Man. I say you needed a hobby. I think you fucking found one. Ooh. Oh man, I'm having nightmares tonight after that. Deep peace. What is up everybody? It's your boy Magic's HTV here. Uh... Now, before we end this video, we are going to post the roast videos from TikTok that got took down for harassment and bullying. Let's get it. Men don't deserve happiness. That's all I have to say. Have a good day. Oh, you set yourself up for one hell of a roast. First of all, I think you spend way too much time in a tanning bed because I think you had brain damage, damage, damage. Second of all, your blonde hair looks like you bought it at the Gap. And third of all, I don't think what you realize, the men that don't have you, is happy. Clearly way happier than we would be with you. You look like a fucking Dolly Parton and Pennywise had a fucking youngster. So, we do deserve happiness, and we are clearly way happier without you. If you really didn't want us to be happy, ask me for my number. Because that'll be the most depressing day in my fucking life. You've been roasted. Zip peace! Would you punch me in the face for two million dollars? Two million dollars. Motherfucker for free, I'll knock them Skittles back in their fucking wrapper and that genie back in the fucking bottle. Fucking wearing a spandex thong on the head, googly-eyed motherfucker. I mean, I've got the muscles. Ladies love me. I've got a big willy. First of all, just the fact that you said you had a big willy. Willy. Tells me the complete opposite. Second of all, my willy has more fucking muscle than your arms. And you look like one of them fucking kids when you were a bit younger that would be sitting in the fucking library goddamn playing RuneScape. Motherfucker looks like he'd be 25 years old, can't even wash his own ass without his girlfriend fucking doing it for him. 
listen to me talking like he has one. All the ladies love you. Motherfucker, show me one besides your mom. I'm surprised she even let you make that video. She might put you in a fucking corner and smack you on the ass with a belt. That's about the only goddamn action you would get to. And I got nothing against people that wears glasses, but motherfucker looks like he bought those off Amazon for two fucking ninety nine and paid twenty two dollars for shipping. My fucking pinky toe got more goddamn muscle than what your fucking arms got. Over here acting like a fucking babe magnet. Only magnet you got is in your fucking pocket protector. So don't tell me how to treat my women. They're my women. Yo, yo, Carlos, Andy, he's waking up. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, you took a fall just now. You come down the stairs there, and we were getting ready to have a game of darts, you know. And you were coming down the stairs there, and you slipped and fell, and then me and Carlos, and then dragged you over here, me and the boys. Uh, your girlfriend called us up, said you were mistreating her, so we decided to pay you a little visit, you know. Uh, and you winds up here. But that's besides the point. So we, uh... We're going to go fishing, okay? There's a pond 200 kilometers that way that we're going to bring you to, and we're going to bring you... What's that? That's nothing. And we're going to bring you over there, and we're going to go fishing. Uh, it just so happens you're going to be up close and personal to the fish. So, let's, with that being said, let's get you up here. All right. Let's go, boys. Come on, we goes. I can't even get a text back. Like Let's roast. Probably going to get took down, but fucking less roast. I'll tell you why you can't get a fucking text back. Because you went to this fucking woman's profile, who's clearly happy. Took the time to stitch this woman, saying you can't get a text back. Basically insulting her weight. Bitch, let's talk about your fucking weight. Her skinny as this goddamn fucking pole right here. Fuck is the good of that. Fuck you fucking half in two minutes. Just as fucking fun as fucking an air mattress. For two fucking reasons. Number one, an air mattress has just as much goddamn brain as you because you're a fucking airhead. Number two is just as fucking light. I'd be frightened to death to fucking poke a hole through you. If I wanted a fucking skeleton, I'd go to fucking Walmart during Halloween and buy one. In this case, if we're talking about you, a fucking gremlin. I have some fucking respect for people. If I see this shit, I will roast this shit. Like and follow. I have some fucking respect. Zip peace. If this is you, you better lower your motherfucking tone when you talking to me. Okay. And if this is you... You can take your fucking ball cap wearing bitch ass back home. I don't need to fucking go inside Narnia. I live with two cats. Lions don't impress me. Motherfucker's probably the one over here with the fucking nine eight inch fucking schlong anyway. I know right now your fucking voice is deeper than most men's. To the fellers out there with that size of a fucking... <whistles> don't listen to this fucking cougar. She's just fucking jealous that nobody wants to fucking tap that. I'd rather stick my fucking... <whistles> in a fucking meat grinder. So yeah, I will take my ass back home. And you can take your sorry fucking bitch ass to a gynecologist to see about closing the gap. Hit that follow button. Let's hit that follow button. Let's get to a thousand followers on Magic's Edge TV. Zip. Peace. You've been roasted, bitch. There you goes. That is it. So it was about five or six there that were took down. Uh, roast videos and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, a lot of you guys has probably over here on YouTube... I uh, probably didn't know that I am mainly right now into TikTok, doing TikTok videos. So this is what I have been doing. You guys have been wondering why I had probably been gone off the channel and not really making content so long. This is why. I've been growing my TikTok channel, my TikTok profile. So <clears throat> uh, we are currently, what are we at now? We are at 2,797 followers on TikTok. And this is what I've been doing. Uh, I'd like to see this channel, especially for this compilation, uh, hit 100 subscribers. Uh, we are very, very close to hitting 100 subscribers. And when we do, I will do a 100 subscriber celebration video. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I've been doing YouTube way longer than TikTok. And it would be nice to be able to hit that, that milestone. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed all these roasts, compilation videos, and, uh, Jesus, I fucking got the hiccups. Uh, <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed this roast compilation video, and I, it was a lot, there was a lot of fucking roasts. I didn't, I didn't realize how many fucking roasts I did, including the ones took down, uh, a lot. <laughs> uh, but yeah, <clears throat> 
be sure if you enjoyed this uh, roast video to uh, the roast compilation from TikTok to smack that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, head over to my TikTok profile and hit that follow button for Magic Sage TV. Head over to Twitch, hit that follow button for more live streams. Uh, going to be doing more live streams soon. I haven't been really uh, <clears throat> grinding into the live streams. I've been fucking grinding on TikTok. Uh, doing meetups, you know, all that stuff, meeting meeting, uh, meeting the fans, and I haven't had time for fucking shit. So uh, we're going to try to get back into more live streams on Twitch soon, uh, some more uh, videos over on Magic HTV Gaming, a.k.a. Sniper666 Pro. So that's going to come soon, but if you guys want more compilation videos, let me know. I will post more compilation videos on this channel from TikTok. So if I get another 20, 30 rows, I'll post another 20, 30 rows in a compilation, give or take an hour compilation like this one. Uh, <clears throat> for whoever stayed till this part and is actually watching this part right now, props to you. <laughs> but I hope I hope you guys did uh, to watch the full thing because you know it's been uh, it's been a hell of a roller coaster and a hell of a ride on TikTok and it's been it's been great and it's an experience I'll never forget. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, I'm going to head out. I'm going to go ahead and end this live stream, and I hope you guys enjoyed in this live stream. I'm going to end this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed this world's compilation. With that being said, I'm Magic's Edge TV. We will see you guys soon. Zip peace!